map that we know of today of the Middle East was basically shaped by many of the events of the First, first World War. Uh, prior to that time, the Ottoman Empire controlled much of that area. Uh, the question we wanted to ask today is how nation states were created in the Middle East and how did nationalism play a role? Some of the key words that we want to look into is nationalism and nation states. What do they mean? Nationalism is excessive devotion to an interest or culture of particular nation states. A nation state is a political organization under which people inhabit a sovereign state. Cultural boundaries match with political boundaries. The map that you see here is a, is a map of Middle East in 1914. As you can see, Ottoman Empire co covers vast majority of the area of what we see in this map, along with Persia. The Ottoman Empire ruled a very vast territory, which we know as today's modern Middle East, some parts of the Balkans and Anatolia regions, and even North Africa. They're multi-ethnic, multi-religious. They're considered a world power um, and a significant player in European politics. We do know that the Ottoman Empire does decline and eventually wane, and do, well, big majority of the reason is how the Europeans imperialized, which was basically became stronger, they became westernized in a sense, uh, many of the great powers of Europe became stronger, they controlled more of the resources, and a lot of the influence uh, negatively affected the Ottoman Empire into losing majority of their control and majority of their lands. The Ottomans try to combat a lot of this growth and the influence that the Europeans had. They try to use new techniques and equip with up-to-date weapons and all that kind of stuff, but they weren't able to eventually modernize 